90,000 miles. What is good, Jolly Dog? What I'm saying, welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. Today is a, a very interesting day based off of the first clip that you guys saw. So let's go ahead and run that intro and get straight into this video. Let's get it. Good y'all, you dig? Welcome back to yet again, another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video, you dig? All right, y'all. So, ninety thousand miles, dude. <laughs> ninety thousand miles. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I made a video just like this. Shut up, radio. I think I made a video just like this. Um last year if if i'm not mistaken last year in hazel my v6 and it's crazy ironic that we're talking about hazel my v6 and there's a v6 across the way right there <laughs> that's wild <laughs> but anyway yeah man so my car hit ninety thousand miles yesterday bro as you guys know this is my daily driver i drive this car every day to work to school to go kick it with the homies me and my fiance's date nights and stuff like that like we drive the car everywhere so like for it to have racked up the miles that it did i think it's like about twenty thousand miles or a little bit under that i put on this car um in a year if i'm not mistaken i got the car at either it was in between seventy two thousand miles and seventy five thousand it was in between those two i just can't remember the exact mileage but um yeah, man, it was definitely in the 70s, and so we put at least 20,000 miles on this car. And this is going to be, like, my comprehensive, like, review type, you know what I mean? How has the car been for those 20,000 miles? How has, you know, service been? How has, you know, the fact that I drive it on a daily basis, how has it been from going from a V6 to a V8 Camaro? And this is my full, like, response to it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, maintenance wasn't really that much of an issue. Thank God, knock on wood, you feel me? I haven't really, that's not wood, but y'all get the point. Who that is? Who that is? Who that is? Hey, look at that. <laughs> What's good, buddy? You good, bro? I'm pulling, folks, I'm pulling. All right, brody. Look, <laughs> I had a feeling because I seen, I seen the 6th gen go by when we were at the light. I'm like, that could be him, but he ain't had a light on. So I was like, ah, that's not, it's not him. And of course, it's my dude, but <laughs> if y'all haven't already, make sure y'all go subscribe to my brother's channel. It's back to the buddy. It's on the screen right now, man. Y'all make sure y'all go check my man's out. But anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. So yeah, man, going from the V6 to the V8, as far as the maintenance goes, it's been a very reliable car for me. As you guys know, if you've been here for a while, or at least been here since I got the car, um, as soon as I got it, like two to three weeks in, the transmission blew on this joint, and I had to take it back to um, CarMax and have them go ahead and do their thing with the warranty and stuff like that. And um, it was with Chevy and CarMax for about two to three months just for them to swap the transmission because they kept telling me it was the torque converter. And I'm like, bro, I know it's not the torque converter, bro. Like, at it just wasn't bro and of course sure enough when they took the trans out fourth fifth and sixth came out in shambles bro that's what they told me it's in, it's in the notes in the little invoice thing um but yeah man other than that that's literally been the biggest setback i guess you could say as far as maintenance goes that i've had to deal with with this car thankfully um you know other other things that i've been you know taking care of is just like the regular maintenance you know oil change um and flushes and stuff like that keeping all the fluids clean and up to date so nothing too crazy there now when you know what i'm saying when you go from v6 to a v8 man you know everybody is ecstatic for you everybody's happy for you and stuff like that but then your boy i mean realize you realize after that first free t uh full tank of gas you get from the dealership man you realize damn i'll be at the gas station every other 
the day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> when you come, like, for me, when I was coming from the V6, with the V6, I was smashing that joint always. I got a heavy foot, you feel me? So, like, I'm smashing that joint. So, I'm at the gas station, like, every other, every, every other, other day. You know what I mean? So, like, every three days or every four days, if anything, I'm filling up. But with this joint, it's, like, every two to three days, brother. I'm, I'm at the gas station. You know what I mean? Like, right now, I got to go get gas tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, today. Uh, you feel me? So it's just like, you know, stuff to be expected. Now, now that that's out the way, you know what I mean? The little differences and stuff like that. It's really nothing too crazy at the end of the day. It's still a fifth gen, you know? It's just the motor, same chassis. Um, but I got a newer chassis now. Um, but going into the fact that we are at 90,000 miles, y'all. That is crazy. 90,000 miles has me just a little bit worried. As you guys know, I'm trying to go complete full bow time with this car. It's currently Texas Speed, long tube headers, Roto Fab Coder, Intake Mishimoto, uh, oil catch can, and that's pretty much it, right? I want to go, ooh, my bad, should have went up. I want to go head cam on this car, you know, and then eventually blow it. But it's like, with 90,000 miles, should I be worried about dropping a cam in this motherfucker and things, you know, going wrong? Because I already know, like, you know, the car has high miles. Once you, you guys know, once you get up there in miles on a car, that's when things start to fall apart. Things start to break. You got to take care of it a little bit more. You know, your maintenance becomes, your maintenance routine comes a little bit quicker. Every now and then, oil changes come a little bit quicker and stuff like that. So, I'm a little... I'm a little worried, you know, that I got 90,000 miles and I'm trying to, you know, I'm still trying to do all those things next year type, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know down in the comment section down below, all my cammed boys, you know what I'm saying? Especially you, um, I can't remember your full YouTube handle, but I know it got sneakers in there and you got the cammed heads, uh, 15, black with the white stripes. I believe you're out there in Florida or it might be Atlanta, one of the two, I can't really remember off of the plate. Um, but anyway, y'all let me know down in the comment section down below, man. Should I be worried about having 90,000 miles and wanting to throw a cam in this car? Or is it all good? Like, I, I really don't know, man. I'm new to the V8 life, you know what I mean? This is a whole new platform for me. And I just want to make sure that I do everything right. I don't want to have the issues, um, you know what I mean, that other people have when they just try to hurry up and get the job done, not necessarily get the job done right, you know what I'm saying, so y'all let me know down in the comment section down below, um, yeah man, I, I don't know, 90,000, 90,000, and it's only gonna keep growing, man, that's crazy, that's 90,000 miles, damn, damn, like, I'm sorry, y'all. Like, this year literally ran through, bro. Like, I just got this car in January, and we're already in December, and I'm at 90,000 miles. That is wild, man. That is wild. But, yeah, man, without further ado, dude, this was just a quick video updating you guys. We're at 90,000 miles now, like I said, like seven times in this video. But for real, though, y'all let me know down in the comment section down below um, what kind of miles you guys are having on your cars that are camped. You know what I'm saying? That are. Ed's cam, you know, a little bit built, not engine built, but like, you know what I mean, it has those modifications where it's like, okay, high, high horsepower modification that you guys have. Let me know what your mileages are looking like. Should I be worried at all about going cam on a 90,000 mile car? Should I be looking towards getting it rebuilt before camming it? Like, y'all let me know down in the comment section down below. But without further ado, you dig? This has been your boy, J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that thumbs up on this video. Drop your comment in the comment section down below, please, because I really want to know. And, uh, yeah, man, I will see you guys. God damn. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.